good morning students as i spoke to you during the zoom class we said that uh, i said that we'll be starting with the next chapter chapter number 3 that is greenhouse effect and global warming so i'm going to talk about the greenhouse effect though we've discussed it in the zoom class also you know what a greenhouse is greenhouse is a structure which is made up of transparent material like glass and which helps to store the heat inside so that the plants remain warm and can grow much faster so the atmosphere around our earth also acts like a greenhouse and some gases like carbon dioxide water vapor inert gases nitrous oxide they absorb that heat and does not allow this heat to move out of the crust of, uh, of the earth's surface and therefore helps in keeping the earth warm at night otherwise earth would have been very very cold now but if this absorption of heat is more than required then it increases the temperature of the atmosphere and that is called as your greenhouse effect and therefore these gases are called as greenhouse gases now why is this greenhouse effect happening we have already discussed this when the fossil fuels are being burned excessively like coal petroleum and natural gas they give out pollutants in the air like carbon dioxide water vapor inert gases methane they give out these gases and these gases are capable of absorbing the heat and thereby keeping the heat within the earth surface does not allow this heat to escape into the space second is deforestation deforestation is also a tool of greenhouse effect because when deforestation occurs that means the amount of trees are reducing and we all know that trees take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen if the number of trees will reduce automatically the amount of carbon dioxide taken in by these trees will also become less and the carbon dioxide percentage in the atmosphere will increase so when the carbon dioxide percentage will increase it will absorb more heat and when it will absorb more heat automatically the greenhouse effect will take place then the population is also increasing if the population will increase it will lead to a lot of harmful gases into the atmosphere because humans tend to burn fuel they tend to construct and these construction dams bridges these kill the trees or the trees are cut and lot of pollution is created and therefore population explosion is also one of the reasons of the greenhouse effect then farming farmers we all know that they add fertilizers to their crops so that they can get a better yield so when they are adding fertilizers these fertilizers contain nitrous oxide and this nitrous oxide is a greenhouse gas it absorbs the heat from the earth and does not allow it to escape into the atmosphere then the pollution which is released by the industries and vehicles this also adds to the atmospheric pollutants and thereby increase in global warming the natural disasters volcanic eruptions forest fires it adds smoke ash dust and gases in the atmosphere now this all is greenhouse effect and because of all these greenhouse effect the temperature of the atmosphere increases now when the temperature of the atmosphere increases automatically this is called as global warming so uh, we've already studied in the previous chapter that the second layer of the atmosphere is called as stratosphere and this stratosphere contains ozone and this ozone absorbs the ultraviolet radiations from the sun now these ultraviolet radiations are very harmful if they reach the surface of the earth they can cause skin cancer hair loss they can cause some kind of deformities from the birth itself and they also harm the plants lot of diseases are caused in the plants also because of this dip os uh, ultraviolet radiation recently if you have heard or read somewhere that ozone layer is becoming less there are holes which are being created into the ozone and this has come to the knowledge of the scientists that means at some points the ozone is not present it has vanished it has depleted now what is ozone ozone is nothing but three molecules of oxygen together now this is happening because there are certain gases which are being emitted by humans when they are using acs that is air conditioners deep re freezers refrigerators deodorants or your uh, you know in that shaving foams in that birthday you take out that shaving foam to you know foam like thing uh, weddings and in birthday parties 
so all these cans they give out chlorofluorocarbons and bromofluorocarbons now these react with ozone these gases they are very very reactive they react with ozone and break the ozone molecule of o3 into o2 plus o that means normal oxygen plus a single atom of oxygen that means ozone is finishing and this allows the ultraviolet radiations to get inside the surface of the earth which is also causing a lot of global warming so these are certain reasons why global warming is occurring on the surface of the earth and we need to check this global warming in future first we are going to discuss about the impacts of global warming and then how it can be reduced these two topics i'll pick it up in the next video you go through this video watch it i'll be sending along with this video i'll be sending the first four pages or uh, for pictures of the first four pages of your book so you can read these four pages or three pages of the book and watch this video and let me know if you have faced any problems